this is how you can be the owner, right? Part owner, per se, of Simbisa brands. Hello. Here's a video I wish I'd seen when I was younger, probably 21 or 18, how to buy shares on this bubble stock exchange market. Before we get into it, let us talk about the words that are loosely thrown around in the circles of investing. Okay, so we start with inflation, meaning that the value of the same dollar has depreciated. It's no longer buying the same commodities as time goes on. It is very easy to explain inflation to Zimbabweans, a dividend, some sort of like profits, right? Let's say you invest in a company like Delta. I'm, I'm going to give an example of a company that you and I probably have used their products like Insco or Simbisa. You have probably bought chicken in or you've probably bought a biggest in loaf of bread. So after a certain period of time, let's say after six months, they then look at their papers, look at their numbers, then they see that, no, we made such and such a profit. And of this profit, we're going to give back to our investors a certain amount of money. So we count the investors, then we split the money in terms of the amount of shares that you have. Oh, look at me, I'm getting lost in explaining the advantages and the disadvantages of trading, forgetting that you probably know this. If you searched for this video, you probably know dividends, you probably know uh, stock price, you probably know a lot of things about stocks. And now you probably want to know how to use the C-Trade app specifically, how it can be used to purchase stocks. Obviously, when money is involved, People are going to need to have your formal identification. They are going to want to need to know you like formally. There is need for you to produce your national ID, right? That's number one. Then number two, you need an email address. This is how the Citrid team is going to communicate to you after you purchase shares. They are going to send a due slip, a due advice slip to say, Tariro, you have bought shares. This is the proof. This is the paperwork, right? then with your information and the amount of shares that you've bought with the price on it. And you also need bank accounts. You need a foreign currency account, then you also need a local currency account. Because when you need to withdraw money from the Citrid account, you definitely need a bank account. You cannot withdraw into some funny accounts like EgoCash. I know EgoCash is not funny, but it is what it is, you need a bank account. Now you have all these things and they are in your pocket or somewhere else, probably on your table. Next step is visiting Play Store or iStore, then download the C-Trade app. The C-Trade application is free. So what you need to do is just search for it on the iStore, on the Play Store, then install it. When it's in your phone, just run it and click on open account. This is going to lead you to a page when you are asked to enter your demographics, that is your name, and certain things about you. Then you click next and you get to a page where you are asked to enter login credentials. This is probably your email and a password. Then you confirm it again, then you submit. After the login credentials uh, window comes a client status window. This is the PEP status, which stands for political exposure, right? I don't know what it means, but then I think it just means that do you have an inclination to a certain political party or person? Have you ever been exposed to a certain extent? And it will lead you to the security questions window. So this is a window that asks you questions about yourself, your preferences, what's your favorite book, what's your favorite movie, etc. etc. This is done so that when somebody with similar credentials to you, similar name, uh, similar surname, if that person comes and claims your account to be theirs, then the security questions will be used. Uh, this is how we're going to discern if you're the true holder of this account. And you're going to be led to, to a window where you're asked to upload your ID, just a picture of your ID and passport size photo of yourself. That's probably a selfie, right? That's what I used for my account. You then have to click submit. After this, congratulations. You've successfully opened a C-Trade account which will be active in 24 hours. This you can use to access each and every company that is enlisted on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange market. And believe you me, all the companies that you envy or the companies that you want to be part of 
are enlisted mm -hmm. there. Now that the application is in your phone, when you open it, it shows you all the companies that you can potentially be a shareholder. So you definitely need money, right, in that account. So you go on to press the deposit button, which is going to lead you to this window. There are two main uh, currencies that you can use to fund your account on the Citrid app. That is the USD or the ZWL, which is the Zimbabwean RTGs, I would like to assume. Then when you click Zimbabwean dollar, because I don't know what ZWL stands for. The W and the L, I just know that the Z probably stands for Zimbabwe, right? So go on to how you're going to fund like a method of payment. Then when you click here, you can see that we have Echo Cash inbox, right? So when you click on Echo Cash, which I usually do because it instantly credits my account. So when I click Echo Cash, then you enter your number here. Then you enter the amount, you submit. Then after a certain uh, amount of time, there is a prompt message that comes from Echo, Echo Cash that prompts you to put in your PIN. And the moment you do and reload again, voila, the man is already in your C-Trade account. Select the company that you want to buy. I myself want to buy lots and lots of Delta shares. So I click on Delta, then I can read a small summary of what Delta does. There's a point when you select your broker, which is the company or which is the middleman between you, the one who's purchasing the shares, then the person who is selling or probably a company that's selling the shares. I want to have some sort of like a competitive edge, I'll put a little bit more of the money here that's indicated more than the price, the share price. And if they match with somebody who is selling, then they sell me the shares, they give me the shares. The person who is selling gets the money, then I am now a shareholder, certified shareholder of Delta and any other company that I feel like I want to own. Now I'm waiting for the dividends. So as far as dividends are concerned, recently received dividend from Simbisa, we're looking forward to receive from Econet, and we're also looking forward to receive dividends from uh, Insco, right? You see, talking like a shareholder, you can be that person. So there you have it. If you've been burning on how you can get in on the deals, how you can be part of the big boys owning Simbisa, owning Insco, owning Delta, imagine owning Delta, guys. At some point, I thought if I have shares in Delta, I could just pitch up and say, guys, you want to buy Coco Nimbo, no, but it's not like that, right? Even the owners don't do that. They buy. <laughs> but I would have done that. Probably, I would just say, you know. That was it for today. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you so much for coming in and supporting local content right support local content by subscribing and liking this video so that the algorithm will carry this video to whoever deserves or whoever wants to invest or to start working on their retirement plan using stocks see you soon